Hey, this is Two Dudes Review of Halo Reach Legendary Edition. This is the box that came in. Came in. This is the statue, which is made out of plastic. This is the case, special black case that you got, and this is the limited edition without the game in it. This is the uh, packaging in the, in the legendary edition. Taking this little slip case off. Show you this. You know, this is this little slip case. It tells you what's in it, but that's what we're going to do. And here's the box that it came in. So you just pull this off. That's the box. And uh, little instructions on how to put the statue together. Quite easy. Plastic, styrofoam. And that's where the statue came in. That's the packaging. And inside the Legendary Edition is this pull-out box case for the game. The game is black, rimmed. That's how you get it out. Black rimmed game. Then in this box is the whole UNSC style code word whatever. Inside. Dr. Halsey's journal. Other way. Our notes. Other way. Other way. Having some trouble opening it. And then and here's, oh. You get all these little goodies, badges, ID cards. Boom. Halsey. And there are just notes about the Spartan project, how she started creating, prototypes of armor, and then more goodies about potential recruits for Noble Team, and these are like their little, uh, I don't know how you say, information files. Files. Uh, that's pretty much Show some of the pages. all inside. You got some detailed drawings or dates. Looks like it's almost, almost actually written there. Had a bunch of people handwrite it. A bunch of they're just little stories about certain Spartans. Now and the big question is, have we read this? I have. I haven't. There's little key details such as a coffee ring. Coffee mug ring thing. Talks about how to increase the body tissue of the Spartans, make them stronger, taller, faster. How to how they infuse the bone with uh, oh, some made up element that made them strong as hell. Then the whole prototypes of Mjolnir armor of the armor. Pretty cool for your Halo addict fan boy. If you pre-ordered from GameStop, you got the recon helmet upgrade for your Spartan character. And the legendary included the flaming helmets that many Bungie employees had. The an elite army armory variant, armor variant. The Avatar Falcon, little flymobile pet, and then some bonus footage about the making of. And uh, this is the big statue that I paid one hundred and fifty dollars for. This is a. Uh, George, other known as Jorge. This is Cat, other known as Get Back in the Fucking Kitchen. This is Carter, whom we thought was Noble Six. This is uh, Emil, and this is June, the sniper. You see him like twice in the game. And so the statue itself isn't really made out of like ceramics or porcelain, it's plastic. And here's the back of it. You know, it's supposed to be like a little memorial to Noble Team. If you haven't played the game, they die. They all die in cool ways, except for him. He just kind of... And I don't think he dies. No, at the end, after the credits. Oh, yeah, well, whatever. And uh, she lame. gets headshotted, so... Yeah, she gets... He dies in a badass way. He's the first to die. He dies in a badass second, way. Second. Runs third. into a scarab. Oh, it's like... This is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. They all die in that order. Yeah, and... Uh, Left to right. See this gun right here? That we we want to use this gun. Yeah, we never... I we don't never think you ever got to pick it up. Okay, this I is a... I do something like that. Spartan 3? He's the Spartan... Oh god. He's a Spartan 2, and they're all Spartan 3s. And Master Chief's a Spartan 1. He is. 
And uh, Noble Six is Master Chief. Okay. No, he's Screw. Not. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. Noble Six is not Master just, Chief. Just but, cut um... that. And uh, the little instructions come to assault, assemble. It's quite easy to assemble. Emil, you just put the shotgun on his back. You know, he doesn't even need a shotgun. Uh, Jorge, you just slip his hand in there. Carter, kind of a pain in the ass. You got to flip his hand around and stick it in there. And uh, uh, Cat, June, June's was pretty. I had trouble. June's with was pretty, his finger yeah. has to fit, and that was a cat yeah. doesn't require anything. Yeah, and when I got mine, June was broken off, and I had to jam him on there. And then in this also is their Spartan numbers, which if you people uh, that read the books, it's from the training. They have some numbers to their yeah names. And if anyone knows Master Chief's real name. Leave it in the comments below. So here's the um, Halo Reach Special Edition. There's the disc. Main difference is that it's just black as opposed to green. It feels cheaper than regular game cases, yeah, though. Does. And this is a little game manual with all the stuff, all the Covenant weapons. There's and the SC disc. weapons. The front of it, in the back. This reminds me of a anime kind of style with the big oversized guns, but. This is my final um, thoughts about the Halo Reach Legendary Edition, and I thought that the um, extra information they packed into the Halo universe was interesting, and I like the detail on the statue, even though it felt a little bit cheap, but it was still well worth the value. This is my final thoughts about the Halo Reach Legendary Edition, and I mainly bought it for the statue, which I wasn't very wasn't disappointed about. And even though it comes with the book, I didn't really read the book, but I like the fact that Bungie put in a lot of effort and time into this for the true hardcore fans of Halo. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe.